in this video we cover alignment labels and alignment labels come in label sets for example this existing label set comes with a, a major and minor this is the major a label and the minor are in ticks okay let me select the alignment right click and go to alignment edit alignment labels okay once i do that the alignment label dialog comes up and here you can see the the labels that are in this label set the the major stations these major stations uh, and they're parallel to the line with a tick let me just expand this column they're parallel to the alignment with a tick so parallel with tick the major stations and then the minor stations here you can only see a tick on the minor station and the 10 uh, meter increments the major stations are in 20 meter increments 240 260 so those are the major stations and then you'll have profile geometry points so we've not created any profile so probably this won't be seen in the existing um in the existing alignment we can import a label set and here at the drop down you can see various label sets so if you were to change we are currently at the major and minor only label set if you were to change it to something else let's look at major horizontal and vertical geometry points just click ok and apply so that's how it looks that's how that label set looks and right now we do not have the 20 increment major stations instead we have the geometry points the geometry points are these points of curvature this is where the the alignment turns from a, a line segment into a curve segment so it's a, a point of curvature and then this is where the alignment changes from a curve to a tangent so this is a point of tangency this label sets labels the geometry points and then it has major stations at uh, at 100 meter intervals let's look at a different label style again then right click go to edit alignment labels you can import a different label set for example the no labels click ok apply and as you can see there are no labels all right let's right click again go to edit labels let's create a label set of our own at the major stations we want to see the major stations we can add perpendicular with tick we saw the parallel with tick let's now see the perpendicular with tick how it looks like let's add it there at the minor stations let's add a tick by clicking on add here and then we can add design speeds and the geometry points and we'll have geometry points at all these uh, geometry we'll have labels at all these geometry points alignment beginning alignment end okay we'll have them at curve midpoint let's just click ok now once we've done our own label set we can save that label set once it's created we can save it let's call it rd1 rd1 label set okay and we click on okay and there you go we have our own label set and it is labeling giving us the design speed uh, giving us the first the beginning point the geometry point there 
Again, the major stations that we selected, the minor ticks that we selected, the geometry points here. All right. The mid geometry point, the mid of the curve, the point of tangency, and all these other labels. And that's how you create your own label set.